going on everybody? My name is Chris and today we're going to be checking out Odd Ones Out animations. My thoughts on Bluey. Here we go. I don't know much about Bluey. All I know is it's a kid's show. That's Uncle all I know. James, can, can we play Space Explorer? Kind of sounds Shut fun. Up for a second. I'm watching this unnaturally charming preschool Damn. show. Why are you watching a show for babies? Damn. Okay, kid. This show is extremely sophisticated and can be enjoyed by both children and adults. Yep. So why don't you shut your ignorant mouth and find someone who actually loves you to play your silly little space game? Damn. <laughs> Bro, Mikey, Bingo, meanest uncle you ever. You say that to your sister. You have to say nice things. Treat others how you want to be treated, mate. Oh. Oh, I really needed to hear that today. <laughs> he needed to hear that after he just got done destroying his nephew, telling him to go play with somebody who actually loves him. Bro, this episode of The Odd Ones that is called... Uh... Are you familiar with the Australian animated preschool show, Bluey? Not if your really. If algorithm is anything like mine, you'll have seen a bunch of clips of this blue cartoon dog all over your For You page. Okay. And with Subway Surfer highlights. Yes. Wow, TikTok. Clips of a foreign preschool show? I thought you were supposed to cater to my interests. <laughs> Let's read some of the comments on these Bluey TikToks, shall we? No shame, I'm a senior in high school, but I watch Bluey religiously, and this episode made had me all in my feels. I'd say I had a good childhood, but I binge Bluey because adult life is so stressful and I'm sad, and it reminds me of a simpler time. Bluey is That's for fair. everyone. I'm literally 27, and it's such a comfort show. Bluey is absolutely destroying me as a teenager who wishes he had this childhood. In my teen years and watching full episodes of Bluey. Watching Bluey High is such a fun time, dude. <laughs> huh. Yeah, interesting. You Very know, interesting. To me, I'm just thinking out loud here. It seems like a lot of these comments weren't made by preschoolers. No. What's no. going on here? They were made by full-blown adults. Now, if your brain is anything like mine, you'll be thinking, why is this show about Australian dogs so popular with adults who don't even have children? In fact, know. why does Bluey have over 5 billion views on TikTok, is searched more than Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, and know. Coco Melon, and why is this episode number 8 in IMDb's highest rated episodes wow. of all it's time? It's above Attack on Titan, it's this crazy. This phenomenon intrigued me, and I was also bullied by a large number of people on my own team to watch <laughs> the show. So, one day I sat, sat down, down and put on the it. first episode, and... <laughs> I watched all 141 episodes. Holy crap. Hang on, James. 141? But there's only 129 on Disney+. Plus. Don't worry, my fellow obsessive Bluey fan. We're going to talk about that later. Okay. I work in cartoons, and I've been to furry conventions. So all Bluey right. has always been on my radar of shows I'm aware of. But you never and watched. just from the clips that I saw, I adored the art style, okay. especially the backgrounds. So much so that my very own background team has studied and taken inspiration from Bluey's backgrounds. Okay. Here you can see my backgrounds taking on a more Bluey, Bluey approach. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit. look at the colors, especially their greens. Oh my God. Doesn't just looking at these backgrounds bring a smile to your face? Kind of. While I was kind watching of. the first season, I realized, oh, okay. I see why this show is so popular. Why? Because it's genuinely a good show. We've okay. already established that the show is great to look at, but the voice acting, the sound design, and the music are equally as amazing. Okay. So it's also great to listen to. While most, if not all, other preschool shows will hire adults who can sound like toddlers, Bluey gets actual children to voice the actual child characters. Okay, so I guess that makes a little bit more sense. It makes it a little bit more child appropriate, if you will. It, it makes it, you know, it gives Somehow, it that vibe. Every Australian toddler in Bluey can be so expressive and emotional. It's impressive that the show got such a talented cast of child actors who don't sound annoying to listen to. Wow. Or maybe it's just their Aussie accents that I like. I Could don't know. be. Could the be. The characters have so much personality and the comedic timing is something i've never seen before in a preschool show i can't think of a single time coco melon has made me laugh this much yeah coco melon's smile. a little weird the four main characters are chili and bandit the parents and bluey and bingo the six and four year old daughters okay yes bluey is a girl you gotta catch up dude come on it's 2023 sorry. sorry the show also does not hide the fact that it's australian it references multiple australian locations and animals they call flip-flops thongs and they say things like Oh, nor! <laughs> While some preschool shows focus on teaching kids numbers and letters, Bluey focuses on the relationship of the family and teaches its lessons through the make-pretend games that the family plays. Okay. And I want to emphasize how perfect these two parents are. These two are the most patient and emotionally aware parents I've seen 
Ever? Ever. There are multiple <laughs> Literally times ever. where the parents apologize to their kids for, frankly, not even doing anything wrong. The okay. dad is like the most perfect dad role model. Okay, check this out. Bingo was sad that dad didn't get to see the leaf bug outside. She was like, Daddy, come and see. Come here, Daddy. <laughs> Quickly. But he was too yeah. busy playing with Bluey, you know, being a present father figure in her life. And at night, she's all boo-hoo about it. And he kneels down, gets to her level, and apologizes, explaining that he didn't hear her. Now, I don't have any kids, but if I spent my weekend running yep. around with toddlers, and then right before bed, one of them said, <laughs> you didn't get to see the ladybug, <laughs> I would say, that's okay. I've already seen a ladybug. Good night. Yeah, liter literally me. Literally me. I probably would have said worse, to be honest so, with you. So, chicken rat, to be honest. Bingo lost her favorite toy, and mom asks, well, where was the last place you had it? The two retrace Bingo's steps, and through flashbacks, we see this bizarre day that Bluey and Bingo had. The very first- I do, to be fair, I do like the colors a lot. I do, I do enjoy the colors. It is very nice to look at. Flashback we see, Bluey and Bingo are cooking a chicken rat egg while wearing <laughs> weird costumes. And through this creative backward storytelling, we piece together what a chicken rat is and how the kids ended up in this situation. Okay. It's episodes like that which really make me appreciate the care that went into the show and really sets Bluey apart from every other preschool show. Okay. Most preschool shows stick to a formula and talk down to the viewer because typically their viewers are Kids. short. As yeah. a childless adult, I don't want to say this show teaches you how to be a good parent because I don't know how to be a good parent. <laughs> but on paper, there are lessons in this show that are just as important for the parents to learn. Okay. So while watching season one, I got a feel for the world and characters. I started to piece together Okay, this show is depicting perfect parents. Yeah, it's well written. Perfect wholesome. family. Anyone, regardless of having kids, can enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's watch the rest, shall we? Wow. Full flashback. Season bang. two and season three is when things go from a hundred to a thousand. Oh, wow. This is when episodes cover deep and emotional topics that I think toddlers are too baby to understand. Okay. Let's see there. So is it secretly made for adults? Because that's kind of what I'm getting right now. That That's There's, that's the vibe the I'm getting right now. of keeping right romance in your relationship alive when you have two toddlers to look after. Why taking time to play with your kids can have a ripple effect that lasts into adulthood. Feeling inadequate as a mom. What it's like having a dad in the army. Parents disagreeing on different parenting styles. Moms getting tipsy implied. <laughs> dealing with infertility. Abandonment. Potentially a miscarriage. That one's still up in the air. And death. Yeah, this Actually, is this is an adult show. One. This you is an can't adult even show. Compare Bluey to other preschool shows. Like what the f was Dora the Explorer even doing? It, what she, she was always going on some different safaris and different quests for more or less nothing. She Literally. Even trying to entertain the adults who are also no. going to be watching her show. No, she Dora didn't. had the same formula yep. every episode, and there was a map who mm -hmm. sang a song that was just repeating the same three words. 14 times. Yep. Season two, there's an episode where Chili is telling Bluey about how when she was a baby, she wasn't crawling or rolling over as fast as the other babies in her mom group. And she compared Bluey's developmental delay to the other babies and felt inadequate as a mother. <laughs> she walking and then backwards. This pink poodle comes to console her, looks directly into the camera, and says, You're doing great. I'm a he, him male with no kids, and I still get teary-eyed just thinking about that episode. Okay. People will tell you that Bluey is a kid's show that adults can enjoy too. No, that episode wasn't for the kids. It was directed at all the moms watching who are doubting their motherhood. Okay. When has Coco Melon- Yeah, I guess that, that's fair because you have to think the parents are watching it as well as their kids. So I guess it's good to have a tie-in where the parents don't get super bored while watching the show like Coco Melon or Dora or something like that. Something that makes like sense. This. All the babies stop singing mid-nursery rhyme, look directly into the camera and say, Hey mom, just wanted to say you're doing a great job raising me. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work. Like, no, that'll never happen. No. I'm still not done talking about how impressive the writing in Bluey is, okay? So please indulge me for a bit. I'm switching into video essay mode okay. as we do a deep dive into the themes and symbolisms dive of one of in. my favorite Bluey episodes, Flatpak. Okay, let's dive in. I don't think I'll ever watch Bluey personally. The entire this is, episode this is, is an allegory of human history told from a religious and scientific perspective, respectively. And it touches on the ever-growing relationships between a mother and child, okay. all within seven minutes. Wow. No, I'm not reading too deep into this. Let's begin. 
Beta and Shilly set out to build a new swing for their porch. And okay. we get this great meta self-aware joke from Bandit when he complains about the instructions saying, I'm, I'm not, not taking, taking advice from, from a cartoon, cartoon dog. dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls play games with the leftover packing materials that are thrown into the yard by their parents. I did that as a Bluey kid. Bluey and Bingo are given bubble wrap, which they pretend is water, so they pretend they're fish. <laughs> then they're given cardboard, which they pretend is land, so they pretend they're frogs. Then they're given tails and become lizards, then T-Rexes, then birds, then furry little animals. Is this chart starting to look familiar? And they're familiar? dogs. Then they're monkeys and then bipedal cave dogs. What? Is that you, Mr. Darwin? Were these girls playing out the evolution of man through a silly game? Wow. Now, if you didn't like the evolution symbolism, I know you're going to love the parents being an allegory for the creators. You know, the, the, the big guy upstairs. Yeah. The, the whatever you believe is going on. Yep. The parents supply the girls with their entire world. They give the girls the sea, the land, the volcanoes, and the trees. In these cave paintings the girls make that tell their history, they depict the parents as gods, wow. higher up and in the clouds. They do look a little angry. A little bit. Perhaps they're still in the Old Testament. A little angry. The parents being the creators is hinted at again by Chili when she looks at the girls lovingly saying, Aww. We, we made, made them. them. <laughs> the parents give the girls an Seems hour like a really wrench, sweet show. tools, and one industrial revolution later, the girls evolve from cave dogs to modern dogs, building futuristic towns and spaceships. <laughs> Throughout the episode, as the girls go through different stages of evolution, they also go through different stages of their lives as a mother and child. As fish, Bluey says that she's the mommy fish and Bingo is the baby. Okay. Then as frogs, Bingo pretends to be a toddler and Bluey teaches her how to catch flies. Then as T-Rexes, Bingo becomes a big girl. Then as cave dogs, she's a teenager. And finally, in the last stage, she's, an adult. she's all grown up, yep. ready to traverse the universe on her own. She thanks Bluey for looking after her and leaves on her spaceship. <laughs> Bluey, now much older as shown by her having to use a cane, crosses the styrofoam threshold which represents her death and she gets to live with her creators. Wow. While this orchestral masterpiece is playing and suddenly you realize you're crying? When did that start? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, I'm not crying, but... ties the allegory all together at the very end saying, Ah, this is heaven. Are you wow. joshing me right that's, now? That, that, this, is, that is pretty interesting for a kid's show. That, that, that's very deep imagery for a kid. For a children's show preschool, was able to tell show. a clever allegorical story with tasteful religious undertones in how many minutes? Yeah. Did you just make me feel emotions over <laughs> a cartoon dog? Yep. This isn't the only episode you can make an in-depth video essay on. There are plenty of other episodes that hit just as hard as this one. While I was doing research for this video, it got me thinking about another foreign animated kid show with eight minute long Is episodes that, Pig? that focus on a family of two toddlers. Peppa Pig. Except unlike Bluey, this show is universally hated. Yes. Caillou, it's Caillou. Oh. oh. I had this idea in my head that I thought it was Peppa Pig. Really hated Caillou because he was a more accurate portrayal of a toddler. Yes. But in the handful was of very Caillou annoying. episodes I watched, I was reminded, oh no, that's why people hate Caillou. Because he sucks. Yeah. His brattiness isn't even important to the plot. He's it comes annoying. out of nowhere. Caillou will be getting ready in the morning. He spills cat food and says, Gilbert, look, look what, what you did. did. Yep. He's at the beach and this bird who's done nothing wrong gets told to go away. And there's a bunch more examples That's of fair. Caillou being a whiny piece of shit. Yeah. And I can't help but think that's fair. That Caillou, yeah, Caillou is probably one of the worst cartoons ever. Caillou is extremely annoying. An extremely His annoying character. Piercing, whiny voice does not help him be a likable character. Not at all. I bet real toddlers can be little punks sometimes, yep. but why would you show that in your cartoon and not have him learn any lesson? Yeah. There's never a lesson learned in Caillou. Since Caillou was a brat all the time, a lot of people, myself included, wondered why Caillou's parents never disciplined or even tried to change his bratty behavior. But after I thought about it, mm -hmm. I realized it would be a very weird episode of Caillou if one day Caillou's mom was like, Caillou, what did you do to your sister? <laughs> I made her look pretty, mommy. Caillou, that was mommy's expensive makeup. She slaps How many him. times do I have to tell you not to touch mommy's things? Come here, you little twit. Literally. <laughs> that kid got what was coming to him. Literally what everybody know, would think. Maybe that episode would be cathartic to some parents. Anyways, getting back to the actual best children's show ever, 
Even though Bluey is literally the most mentally intelligent and educational show for the minds of children, teens, adults, and parents, some unnamed mouse company decided to censor some of the episodes on their platform. Really? It's the strangest things that got censored, too. This horse pooping, <laughs> Bandit getting hit in the groin, Bandit saying the word groin. groin, this hitchhiker is no longer from Argentina, that one's kind of weird. Hmm. This pretend cat saying it will pretend pee on the curtains, Bandit hinting at wanting to get snip snip down there. Oh, jeez. Don't geez. you know what I'm talking about? And the last 10 episodes of season three, which are some of the deepest episodes in the series, aren't even on Disney+. Plus. Wow. Well, that could just be a licensing thing, I don't know. I kept waiting for the infertility episode. I heard so much about it. But it never I came out. I finally got to the last episode on Disney+, Plus and thought, oh, okay. Here we go. You're saving the deepest one for last. Nope. All right, let's do this. And the episode was about the family playing courtroom to determine <laughs> if Bandit farted. I hope this video convinced you to give Bluey a chance. I don't know. I mean, you're still here listening to a grown man talk about it, so you gotta be at least a little interested in kind it. Kind of. Through its relatable and realistic portrayal of family life, the show has not only entertained, but also taught valuable life lessons to its viewers. Okay. The show's emphasis on play and family bonding is so refreshing. To yeah, and it's a lot different, you know. It, it, like I said, it, it's interesting because it seems like it is a children's show, but also for adults at the same time. You know, it keeps See, them entertained. Compared to the usual fast-paced, mind-numbing shows aimed at kids. Bluey reminds us all the importance of spending time with loved ones and finding joy in the everyday. Yep. And if you still don't want to watch Bluey, have you thought about getting high and watching it? No. Thank you all. So that was a bit interesting. A children's show for adults at the same time, kind of going off of the premises of a good family and how it is to be a good parent is definitely an interesting concept that we haven't seen in a long time. Me sitting down and watching the show, I don't have kids. I don't know if I'm going to actually sit down and watch it, but I've definitely kind of been swayed and almost feel like I'm missing out on not seeing the show. Do me a favor and check out ones out. Their link will be down in the description. They make absolutely amazing videos. And this was not shy of anything that they've made before. This was amazing. Also comment down below if you guys have seen Bluey and if you guys really think I should check it out. But with all of that being said, guys, my name is Chris, and of course, I will catch you guys in the next one.